Hey, Bikeaholics, Ryan Erlacher here, LawBindingBiker.com, quick live. All right, so it's been really hot here lately. Of course, the regular job is uh, police motors. Of course, we do law abiding biker stuff on the side. But I've been working this summer, literally here in eastern Washington State. I've worked weeks where it's well over 100 degrees um, every day, out all day. And one of the things that happens, I've been asked this a lot. That's why I'm popping this live on you guys. It's, I try to collect some of the questions you guys send to our email and uh, try to do live and answer some of those questions. So yeah, I'm out every day on the motorcycle, come home, work on lab, weekends I'm working on lab. At the end of the video, I'll talk to you guys, maybe take some questions. I know there's probably questions popping on the screen. My lovely daughter is uh, uh, filming this right now, so I won't be able to see, but at the end, I'll try to take some real quick questions. So when you're sweating every day, all day in 100 plus temps, yes, the helmet gets very stanky and you guys out there riding in hot weather know that you sweat a lot in it. Of course, I routinely pop the liner. I put it in the wash. This is my actual police motors helmet. Um, if you wonder, this is a uh, Shoei uh, Neotech, is what it is, Shoei Neotech modular. Love this helmet. Um, there's other good helmets too, but I love this one. Um, so I try to pop it regularly, of course, run it through the washing machine, but you literally, when you're working every day, you simply can't do that. So I've got to have quick ways to do that. And of course, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways and that you guys can do it really quick when you get back from a sweaty ride and all that. So um, this is actually Saturday. I worked late uh, or into the evening a little bit last night. So it's dried out a little bit, but it was a very, very hot day. So I'm going to come over to the workbench here. I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. So this, of course, is our product. We carry it in our store. Highly recommended. I use it on my regular helmets. Of course, awesome for law enforcement officers or anybody that's running a helmet and you're sweating and all that. So very simple, guys. Give her a little shake. Again, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. This is the helmet refreshener. It's one of our line of Bike Bright products. We'll get you hooked up. It lasts quite a while. Um, so this is what I do routinely, and this is how simple this stuff is to use. All you do, take your helmet. I'm going to pop some of my mics and stuff out of the way so you guys can. This can work on half helmets too, full helmets, three-quarter helmets. It really doesn't matter, and it won't degrade the helmet. It won't make it unsafe. I, we've had some questions like that. It, it really just um, not only freshens it, um, but it, it has an anti-microbial uh, 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 elements in it that help get rid of all those bacteria and stuff like that. So this is a quick way that I do multiple times a week. This is how you do. Pretty simple. I'm just going to spray it in. You'll see me spraying it around. I'm just putting a good little coat in there all over the foam. Got some on my hands there. It's pretty much safe on everything. Put a good foam in there. Like, I just said hi from Yakima. Oh, hey, from Yakima. My daughter, <coughs> don't breathe it too much, by the way. <coughs> I got a little bit of my lungs there because I wasn't paying attention. Peace out for whoever's in Yakima there. So, there are you getting some shots in here? Okay, so you guys see what I did? Mike from Yakima, awesome. Do you see the good coat I put in there, guys? Don't, don't uh, worry about using too much, okay? All right, so I'm trying not be careful about breathing. I probably should have did it outdoors. By the way, be safe. Do it outdoors. Um, I leave it like that. That's it, guys. You don't no scrubbing anything. Um, and you, it smells really good, minus the aerosol part of it. But mm -hmm. it actually smells really good. And you can see if you come in here close, it's starting to soak into the liner. It's soaking all in, and that's what you do. And then I just set my helmet, and I'll literally leave it like this. You can either leave it in the sun or I'll just, I don't go back to work, uh, to the paying job till Monday. So I'll just leave it on the workbench. Within a couple hours, it soaks in and it's completely dry. And it really does smell a lot fresher than my stanky helmet from working in the hot heat. Um, again, available in our store. Helmet refresher, strongly, strongly recommended. I don't know what I would do without it because I literally can't wash that all the time. So let me show you this real quick. Mostly this video was about that. Again, this right here, guys, we can't tell you enough. Bug slide, I've, you guys heard me talk about it. I'm not gonna go over it in detail, but it's a waterless cleaner. Use it on our motorcycles, paint, chrome, plastic, it doesn't matter. It's a waterless cleaner in our store. But the way I'd finish this helmet, I'm not gonna go through it on this video. It's all I use. I use nothing more on my whole police bike and my entire police helmet, my shield, 
I do the inside of the shield. I do the outside because I got some overspray. I've got some bugs on here actually from earlier in the week. Literally, bug slide, good microfiber cloths that we sell with it in our store, guys. It's very reasonable. Entire motorcycle helmet shield done. That's what I love about it. I don't have time for 30 different cleaners or $90 cleaners like some of the stuff you guys see being pushed out there and you know what I'm talking about. Yes, you have a good question? Almost, no, it's just um, there's more people in here like commenting more, so... I just want to let you guys know we're going to like answer more questions. Okay, so what she's saying is, because you can't hear That's it, sorry, you can't. is we got a lot of questions popping, and I appreciate that. I'm going to try to take some of those at the end, and, and I won't be too much longer. So thank you for that. All right, so the only other thing I want to say, uh, helmet refresher. I'm going to step back here just real quick. So this is funny. It's not funny because it's true. These are questions I get, guys. Um, so these are my motors boots for my law enforcement, of course. Now, this one's clean because I did it last night, but I saved one for you guys. So I had a pretty serious accident. Uh, I didn't have an accident, but I investigated a very serious accident uh, yesterday, Friday. And you can see if you come up close, uh, I have orange paint. And that's the orange paint specs overspray from uh, um, when we paint up. I have to paint up the evidence and we have to measure it, but I always get it on my boots. I get dirt, dust. Now, of course, I polish these two in between because I want them to have a nice military shine, a nice look. But I kid you not, I'm not making this up. This is on a day-to-day -day basis before I leave. Once they're shined up with polish, I literally clean my boots, my motor's boots. And you can do it the same with your uh, boots for your motorcycle. And I will just wash all the bugs, all the dirt. I'll get the shine back to them. You can see it's taken off all that orange paint, all the orange specks. And I'll get this done. I'm kind of doing it half-assed because we're on video. I would spend a little more time, but you get the point. Because they do get dusty, or they get, you know, you ride through a little rain and they get some road grime on them. But you can actually take bug slide, and I'll use my fingernail, and that's an extra one right there. And uh, there you go, guys. That's my police motors boots. You can do it. Bug slide. I know. I never knew that either. I just started using them. I'm like, heck, bug slide works good on leather boots too. So. Um, all right, with that said, it has been very hot around here. The days are starting to get a little bit shorter. I know we're, uh, I don't like it because I know it's we're winding down summer a little bit, but hopefully that answers a few questions that I've got over time about helmet, um, getting the stank out of it, and that's just another use for bug slide, of course, which is the only thing I carry on my police motorcycle for the in-between waterless washes and all that. Again, all available in our store, guys. If you want to support us, if you appreciate us, hear me on a Saturday night, putting out a live, trying to help bikers around the world. That's our mission, help as many bikers as we can worldwide. I've been editing video all day. I'm editing, we filmed a complete oil change service um, safety inspection on a Milwaukee 8. And I've been in edit all day at my computer and it's gonna take me another several days to get that edited up, but hopefully out to you guys soon. So with that said, let me take a few quick questions and we'll bump out of here. I'll have to come around and check the screen here. Give me just a second. Oh yeah, so, who, so, oh yeah. My daughter's saying Mike said first beers on me when we meet. So very cool. From Yakima, it's cool. That's where we're out of, guys. We're out, actually on the outskirts of uh, Yakima, Washington. So I'll give it just a second. How? Where are we at on time? Oh yeah, we're good. We're 8:45. So. That's like the shortest one you've ever done. Yeah, it is like the shortest. Wow, I kept it to the point for once, which is rare for me. If you're wondering behind me, that's my. This is my police helmet. I get a lot of questions. Uh, that's my Shoei Neotech modular uh, off duty on my personal motorcycle. This is the uh, Schuberth C3 and uh, they're both helmets back to back awesome. I'll eventually do a comparison video on the two, um, but there's not a lot I can tell you. Hey Ryan from Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, okay. all that's going on down in Texas craziness. Been watching the news, man. Uh, shout out. Um, but that's a Schuber C3 in it. The only main difference is it's this one's a bit quieter, but um, they're both super, super good helmets. So, um, yes. Also. Yes. If you guys ever wonder what he does on his free time. You got to speak up. If you ever wonder what he does on his free time, he likes to ride his Jeep. That's my pink Jeep. <laughs> and uh, I'm not afraid to admit it on YouTube Live that I like rolling in the pink Barbie Jeep. And the but Ferrari. Hello from Arizona. Hey there, man. I want to go to Arizona. All right, guys. With that said, I'm not seeing. I'm seeing a lot of people, and I appreciate the shouts out, but I'm going to keep it real. We're right at 10 minutes, 
and uh, no questions pop it up. Oh yeah, first time you caught me live, so awesome, Joseph Murray. Joe Worth just got a 2000 Street Glide special looking for the new Milwaukee 8. Awesome, the video and edit all day. Hello from Oregon. Bend, Oregon. Yep, later, Pete Lanzone. Hey, know that name. Yeah, I ride around Someone in my- Someone said that they were at like some store and they recommended your channel. Oh, but I can't remember what thanks whoever called. recommended like, our channel. I can't remember what all it was right. called. So we're gonna take it out. The last thing is guys, um, I am testing. The, uh, I put out a video on it on the new uh, WIM, the new wireless headset interface module for Hardy Davidson to work with the boombox. Check our channel. I already put a video out on it, and we'll be doing more. Milwaukee so, Rally. all right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. A lot of people are at the.